Mates, I literally just got off the phone with my gynecologist. So I've been trying to find like ways to help me and Dominic conceive and stuff like that. And especially since my cyst is gone. So I just got off the phone with my gyno and he told me that in order, you know, to get pregnant faster and especially since I was on birth control, we can't do anything. Like we have to abstain from, you know, like the kitty cat for three months. So I'm going to tell Dominic, mates, was that believable? Because... It's about to go down, mates. I'm about to tell Dominic for three months we have to abstain. No kissing, no, no, no kitty, no nothing. So um, I'm gonna tell him like I want to do like a Q&A style so that I hit him while it's hot, mates. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna get everything. So guys, I'm gonna get everything ready, mates. This light is making me look. Guys, ignore the schoolgirl outfit, mates. Because I'm about to teach Dominic something. I'm a professor. Let's go. Okay, so this is a question I've seen a couple times mm -hmm. that people sent us in the DMs that mm -hmm. people are kind of going through the same things that we went through. Mm -hmm. And first question is, how did it affect your relationship if it affected it at all? So, good question. I was shattered. Um, like... They said that they're currently going through the same thing. And like they feel that they're drifting apart with their partner so I feel that's a very good question because yeah. I feel like oftentimes when you go through kind of complicated things together that you don't expect to go through together you know like it could be something traumatic it could be like something that you, you didn't think that you would go through with your partner mm -hmm. that it can break you I think that's good to go through things because it either it either breaks you or makes you right if he breaks so, you he's not the one for you yeah so like I think that and I think I can speak that Anything that we go through in the future, everything, anything that we went through in the past, anything that we will go through, I think we can tackle it together. We can come out stronger. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you can kind of go through something and we can go through like almost anything, but you know, like we would come out on top and like, you know, we would communicate and we would come out stronger than when we came in. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's the main thing, like you have to communicate and you understand that you will kind of go through it and you know, you have a way of dealing with it that's different than your partner. Mm -hmm. But what's important that you kind of understand and you kind of just talk about yeah, how to get, you know. Yeah, yeah. so. You know, I do think that personally, like for us, it didn't really like, yeah. you know, put a crack in, in, in us. It kind of just made us stronger, made us stronger yeah. right? So it kind of made us appreciate each other even more yeah, as well. Yeah, literally. Right? So, All right, so for me, this was a really good one. Um, it was DM to me. So it said, to you? Yes, so it said, NACA, what did you do to help your body fight off the cyst? Did your doctor prescribe you anything else or give you any advice on how to not make it come back? That's a very good question. Actually, I just got off the doctor with my gyno about like two to three hours ago and I was... got off the doctor with your... Oh, I was just got off the phone with my <laughs> gyno. Sorry, guys. I'm so excited to let you guys know about this. Uh, a couple hours ago, mate, while you were helping your parents move. So, you guys, um, he actually gave me a really good tip that me and Dominic are going to do just to help prevent for it to come back. He said not to, to abstain from any, like, intercourse or anything like that. So, that's what we're going to do for three months. And it also helps. Yeah, you can't do anything. And he also helps. How, how would that work? Because oh, no. we don't do anything, right? So when we, when I'm not like in heat or anything, my cells get rejuvenated and the fact that I took birth control, that wasn't like really good for my body. So he said to abstain, abstain from everything for three months. That's really good three advice. Months. Three months, mate. You can't do anything. No, well, this makes any sense. Yes, it does. Dominic is the expert. So we are going to try it out um, just because I feel like my cells they do need to rejuvenate and I break out a lot too you know when I'm about to get my period like I break out so that's just like um, it's like my body telling me that I need to relax so that's what we're gonna do I'm really really excited three months no no even kissing or something like that like I can't what? why can't we kiss because it, they're coming you see them man? Where's the chopper out? Oh shoot! The rescue team's coming for me. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, because I can't get some three months. Yeah, three months. We can't kiss or like yeah, anything but, like but that's pass gonna. Out. No. Come to me. Mate, anything that's gonna make you in heat, like you guys. I encourage you guys if you have a partner, 
Mate, you can't do that. Like starting when? Starting today. I was gonna tell you, Ooh. but so guys, you don't do anything. What does kissing have to do with, with that? Because it releases hormones. You can't release any hormones because when you ovulate, the ovulation it makes you more like you know like you want to do it. But he said you have to abstain for that. So three months we can't do anything. We can't kiss. Like, the only thing we can do is like hug, and you do like hu like meaningful hug, and you do affirmations. Like every day we hug like four times a day and you're like, Bruh. we will get pregnant this month. We will get pregnant. What like, if you're already pregnant? Ooh. You still kiss? No. Me. Me. So no. So no physical contact. But hugging is physical. Yeah, but that's different because you, you're affirming and my energy goes to you. It's like on a like a physical base like that. We can't make out because like it's really useless. I don't know about this one, guys. No. Yeah, it's really useless when you have intercourse. It sounds like counterproductive that. to me because if you're trying, Mate, but then you can't give advice like that. We have to be on the same page. People are gonna they're gonna think we're not on the same page. So just go along. Can with we it. have like one last? Like, no, Dominic. You can't give advice that you don't follow to people. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna do it. So tell people that we're gonna to do it, and you have to be a man of your word. People look up to well, you, we mate. Can, we can try. No, people look up to you. You have to be in control of your urges. Yeah, yeah, we, we can, can try. Dude. Yeah, exactly. So that's what me and Dominic are going to be doing for three months. No physical contact. I think like, we should have talked about it. Before. We're coming about it now, man. We're giving advice to people, mate. Don't be selfish. This way said. Yes, don't be selfish, mate. This is for the greater good. Flores. Yes, mate. Yo, Flores seemed like he'd be the opposite. Flores was the guy that was like, okay, you got, you got to do it. Put your legs Did up. Did they put music on here, mate? Yeah, they're gonna set the mood for us. One last time. I'm about time. to tell him to turn it down. No. Like, anyways, guys. Let me guys. talk to Doctor Flores. So that's that. We're not gonna be doing anything, mate. Okay. All right. Thank you. We can Anyways, hug. guys. So we as it was, hug? yes, we can hug, but it, it's it's only at like twelve, four, six, what about and for eight. Me? Can you do something? Ooh. No, I can't. Me, I just said you can't release those hormones. Me. Yes, both of you. us. Both. Both. The sperm is in, not in you, me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, so that's what we're gonna do, me. You're a pillar for men. Mm. So you have to be strong. But anyways guys, so that's what we're gonna be doing for three months. I guess we'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm super excited. So yeah guys. Trying something new. Yes. At, at this point we look excited. Always open to trying out new things. Exactly. So the next question is Okay guys, so the next question is how does Dominic feel knowing that it was a prank as i just said that without reading anything hmm? it's not real me what's that it's not real we're not do we're gonna do it every single day for three months <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm talking about yeah me so guys there's some lady doing some yoga next door so you know my man was a little shook <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. No, for real though. But someone did ask, how has, like, any tips that I did for me, like at the beginning, um, I did switch you my see, diet. You like you, didn't, you said. didn't talk to. Me. Huh? You didn't talk to. Me. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so at the beginning, Just I. Just making sure. Yes, mate. It's okay. At the beginning, I did switch my diet. I think I switched it for like a week, huh? Mate, you okay? Yeah. Two, two weeks. Guys, Dominic was blacking out. Two weeks. Switch the diet. <laughs> so two weeks. Um, and then kind of like I cut down on sugar, but then I got lazy. So then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go back to my old diet. And then you still that, were better though. Yeah, you I was better really for better. Mm -hmm. And you kept like doing teas. Yeah. Or like uh, uh, cumin. Is it cumin? Uh, I think so. Curcumin. 
something like that. But um, I think, no, it's is the yellow one. Uh, turmeric. 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 Yeah. Ginger. Yeah, teas lemon. like that. Turmeric is really good. Yeah. I think that really helped too. Mm -hmm. And then the birth control for a month. That really helped. I feel like yeah. the birth. If you have a good gyno, I would suggest to talk to them and um, look at the different birth control because the first birth control they prescribed me it was an endometriosis birth control mm -hmm. but then my gyno said types, yeah. it wasn't a good one so I would 100% like and go see second opinions a lot of people told us to go see second opinions so that's what which we did, did yeah. which was really helpful and then yeah then just basically did a follow-up after mm -hmm. and yeah it was really good so we're really happy about that and now we're gonna go get food I'm <laughs> hungry so we're gonna catch you guys once the food is here we're gonna go to Dominic's parents house they just moved into their place it's really nice we're gonna show you guys yeah so catch you guys <laughs>